Okay, so this is part two of converting a Sims 3 item for Sims 4. I'm going to try to muster a little bit more enthusiasm. It's a little bit late at night here. Uh, so we're going to go to Object. We want to create a 3D mesh. Hit Object. We want to find something that is very similar to what we are going to be converting in both structure and in use. So what we're converting is a coffee table. This coffee table will do nicely. Hit Next. Since we're Studio clones the object and lets you save it, this is so that if you uh, like mess it up, you have a place to fall back on. So coffee table backup. Yes. Okay, so here's your uh, your item. Uh, a couple things. This is your catalog. Oh, I'm using the um, the beta version of. Sims 4 Studio Joy right now, so yours probably will look a little bit different. This is the sort of not released for everybody one. Anybody can download it, but this is one that's like not guaranteed to be bug free. And this is one of the bugs. It doesn't have the name or description. They're fixing that right now. They'll be out with a fix soon. They're really great over there at the Sims 4 Studio forums. Um, what were we doing? Right, converting. So meshes couple things about the meshes. So you have a high, a medium, and a low mesh. They all have different polygons and vertices. Like as you can see that has way less than that. The high version on this Sims 4 Studio mesh is way less polygons and vertices than the Sims 3 Studio one. I don't know why that is. But that's important for later. So export mesh. Table export. Sure. If you don't have Blender installed or you don't have the correct version of Blender installed at this point, it will... Oh, this folder's a mess. At this point, Sims 4 Studio will tell you you don't have it and they will uh, give you the download link. So I opened it up in Blender. This is your coffee table. Uh, as you can see here, you've got your coffee table itself. This is the feet, the footprint rather, and then this is the actual like block footprint. This is the rig. This is sort of how your sims interact with the item. Uh, I don't mess with that. Ever. I don't know how. Okay, file import. I mean, I know you can, but I just don't. Because it confuses me. Uh, sorry, I had to remember where I put that. So it's actually here in TS3 to be loaded. Tutorial folder coffee table mesh object, we want to import this. Okay, so your coffee table, your imported object, is in white. And of course the actual item is here. And this is nice because we don't have to do anything, pretty much. I'm going to lower it a little bit. Um, translate on the Z axis because I want to make sure that the tables line up just right. So I want stuff to sit on the table, not inside the table. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's like perfect. Even the feet are going to look good. Okay, so you want to delete the uh, the footprint of your imported table. So that would be group 0 here, I think. Um, right? Yeah. There. Like I said, super late at night here. Um... Right? Am I losing my mind? I am losing my mind. Uh, control Z is undo. There we go. Sorry, this is the actual footprint that we need to delete. Make sure that you delete the right thing. Doesn't matter if you don't, Sims 4 Studio will tell you no. Uh, that's what I like about Sims 4 Studio. It's impossible to make game, pretty much impossible to make game corrupting stuff because the studio won't let you. Okay, so a couple things we want to take note of what the heck this cut number is. This is the actual table that we're wanting to imitate. Go over here. Is it in global? No, it's over here. Okay, so this is cut number two. That's super, super important because if we don't change it, we, we have issues. So we're going to go ahead and delete this. Uh, delete. Delete. Change this to cut number two super important. If you don't do that, it gives you a bad time. If 
file, save as. No, no. Hi. Okay, so that's our high mesh. Save as Blender file. So now for our medium and low mesh, we're going to make sure the item is selected. We're going to go over here to the little wrench, add modifier. Go down here to decimate. Decimate. Over here you've got the ratio. Make sure you pay attention here. This is your faces and your, your vertices. We're going to bring it down just a notch. So hold this over here and slide it down. As you can see, if we delete the whole thing, it's like, oh my gosh, we don't want that. Let's do, what does it look like? So kind of keep your eye on it and take a look and see how far down you can go. I like that, I think, for the medium mesh. So file, save as. So instead of this being high, we're going to go medium. Save this wonder file. Um... We're going to go ahead, oh, darn it. Um, so if you don't hit apply, it doesn't save it like that. I forgot to hit apply, so hit apply. There we go. File, save as. I always forget to do that. It never fails. Save. Okay. And then for our low mesh, click the item again, come over here. Um, you don't want to decimate it so far that it's like no longer a table. Um, but because this is a imported item, it's very, very important to get your polygon count down because some people are going to be unable to use your content if you don't do that. Add modifier, decimate again. Um, I'm going to be a little bit careful here. Nah. What are we at? Uh, 648. Nah, we'll call it good. File, save as. There's no uh, like mathematical formula for this. It's just what still looks good and has lower... Uh, polygon save as this will be mesh medium or mesh low rather low save this wonder file um, normally at this point you would do the shadow you would import the shadow and do the same exact thing that you just did I'm not going to worry about it though because the shadow of the original coffee table is going to look pretty much exactly like this so I'm not going to worry about that um, okay so go back into sims 4 studio that is huge. Uh, meshes, right? Only a three? Yeah. Import mesh. Um, sort by date. Okay, and these are your meshes. I'm going to do the high, import the high to the high space. This is where we find out if we did it right or not. Yay! Same thing over here. Import mesh, medium. Then import the low mesh. It looks so nice. Go into texture, import your texture. Uh, this was the multiplier. Okay, so as you can see, it's all nice and gray right now. If we wanted to do something with that, we could. Uh, we would open that. That wasn't it. There we go. We would open this in paint.net. Color it however you want. I usually just add a layer on top of it. Um, you could make it, I don't know, I have a whole bunch of palettes over here. Mm, whatever, base wood. These are base wood colors. Uh, paint can. Mm, we could go overlay. I like that. Okay. Okay, file, save as. Want to make sure that you save it as a DDS file or it won't recognize it. Two, three, okay. Light wood. Save. Yes, you want to flatten it. Import that texture. Ta da! If you wanted to have like a wood grain, you could do the same thing using an overlay of like a wood. Um, go here into your catalog, name it, whatever. Awesome table. Give it a description. 
Okay, table. Give it a price, make it a dollar. File save as, whatever, in a safe place. Okay, the last most important step, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, is to then save it into your mods folder and then go in the game and make sure that it works the way you want it to, make sure that it looks the way you need it to. Um, if you go in the game and you're like, wow, the bump map looks really weird, or you wouldn't say that because you wouldn't know. You'd be like, wow, it, the texture looks super weird. You'd come in here to Warehouse and you'd mess around with these, the DST images. It doesn't have one. Oh, it doesn't have one. Never mind. You're going to load this in your game and be like, wow, it looks awesome. Uh, I have another tutorial on how to change bump maps and things, so I'm not going to cover that. So That's it, guys. That's how you convert a TS3 item to TS4. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.